to my YouTube channel. My name is Roxanne, the Tiny Taster, and this vlog is all about Kaziranga. That's right, I'm on a safari after what, like four years, which is a lot for me because I love safaris, but pandemic and just other things and I couldn't and I finally gotten to one. And this is actually really special because I know a lot of Indian safaris, the hero is always the tiger and people are always looking for the tiger, but over here it's not, it's actually the rhino. Um, it's gonna be wonderful, I'll take you along. I've just checked into my hotel, so you can see it's nice and green behind me. It's almost like a glimpse of what I'm going to get in the jungle. It's gonna be great. I'm really, really excited and I really hope you enjoy this video. Of course, if you do, as always, don't forget to give it a big fat like. It always helps. Subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of vlogs, there are recipe videos. You know the drill, there's a lot going on. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you like, what you didn't like, and of course, share it with all your friends. So I'm gonna get right into this video. I hope you enjoy things first I just settled into my room dumped everything quickly and then headed out straight for my safari there are actually five zones in Kaziranga I managed to do four out of the five I just had four safaris so I think this was the central zone if I'm not mistaken each zone is gorgeous trust me I was just happy to be in the jungle in a jeep after so long just nice and lush green everywhere and then literally in within the first seven minutes not even 10 minutes i think five or seven minutes we saw a rhino actually we saw many rhinos it was not just one um, but just a beautiful thing to see considering this is really what I wanted to see and what the park is known for and I wasn't sure if we would you know sometimes people say oh it's very easy and then some go on trips and don't see it at all which is a little bit surprising but I was scared so now I'm thrilled because this was the first thing we saw and they are just stunning there were rhinos on both sides and amidst all the action i almost did not notice this little guy this little baby elephant just splashing around in the water having the time of his life that's another animal that you see a lot or you're supposed to see a lot in kaziranga is the elephant especially the wild ones not the ones um that take you on that elephant safari oh gosh please don't do an elephant safari it's just horrible uh, for the animal um but you can see them wild and then of course between the elephant splash around another rhino and many many rhinos so it was a great first safari so apart from the elephants and all the rhinos of course I did see other animals and birds many birds actually especially this little guy that just popped out of his nest so so cute um, just a great safari this was my first one it was the evening safari so and just two hours because while it's uh, sunrise is early over here and it sets just as fast so by five o'clock it starts getting dark so we had to get out but great first safari looking forward to the next day good morning this is day two it's bright and sunny and i'm on my way to breakfast and then my safari my second safari and the first morning safari just look at this my gosh so so beautiful so i'm used to the safaris the morning safari starting super early at like six in the morning or 5 30 when it's dark actually and then you go into the jungle and see the sunset over here the sun rises i think at four or five um that might be too early for the park so the safari starts at seven it's all bright and sunny um and i think it'll be great i'm excited either way that's our jeep right there all set i didn't really get much of a chance to vlog um yesterday because we were in such a tearing hurry and we thought we were late today is a little bit slow and it's also a long day um we're doing back to back morning and evening safari so okay finally in the jeep hair tied up buff on cap on hat on everything ready Peace. yeah everyone all set yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're really excited so kicking off day two in Kaziranga, this is the morning safari all set. Again, 
jungle is beautiful this time i was in a new zone i think if i'm not mistaken this was the western zone the western and central are the two most popular zones so you'll see more jeeps over there and i think more animal activity but they're all just gorgeous where we are we've come deep into the jungle actually very different from um, the open sort of green lands and especially for this hornbill nest it's somewhere in here I don't think the camera can pick it up but there's a nest inside the bark of the tree where the mother and baby are nesting and then the male or the daddy comes every two hours or so and gives it food Oh my gosh, there he is, the great Indian hornbill. I'm obsessed with this bird. I've only seen it once in Corbett and that too a fleeting glimpse. So this was great. So just had uh, the best sightings, um, even time wise. Basically, we just saw an Indian hornbill, which I'll put up after this. And it literally comes out every two hours. So we were lucky that we saw it at this exact point. So it for not even three minutes and then it just flew off. Um, but quite gorgeous and special. So it was my second time seeing a hornbill and I think this might have been a better sighting because I actually have footage of it. Such a gorgeous bird and quite common in this area. And then of course there were other birds like my favorite eagle. I like eagles and owls actually. Truth be told, I like all birds of prey. Um, I was going to say all birds, but no, not all birds. I like birds of prey, especially. Um, people tease me because I get fed up if there are too many birds. But I think the more safaris I do, I'm starting to become a little bit of a bird enthusiast. Um, but they're just so cute. Look at them. Uh, how can you not? They're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. More rhinos this morning, including this little guy, this mum, I'm assuming mum and baby, just so cute waddling all the way through the field. I have so much footage of rhinos now, I can't tell one from another, but these babies are just too cute. Also, fun fact, if you look carefully, um, the actual color of the rhino is almost grayish black, like a dark gray that it looks nearly black, but you'll see him in patches over here. That's actually just the mud and clay. I mean, I'm thinking clay, but really mud from the water that they kick up on themselves. I think it also helps to cool them. So that's not their actual color, this light gray. It's the darker shade that's their color or so I'm told. I could be wrong if I'm wrong somebody please correct me but either way they just look so cute waddling all the way through now at one point in the morning safari we saw a rhino crossing and i was so upset because there were two jeeps in front of us with just some really obnoxious people standing up and not letting anyone else take a photo or video like they just blocked everything the jeep that was closest and we were so upset because i had people in the jeep with me who were very excited i had a little boy with me who was really excited and then we just got so lucky we were the only jeep to see these guys crossing so we actually got our own own little private rhino crossing and not just one guy there were two of them so that made it even more special we were quite close I think everybody was a little bit scared at this point because if the rhino for some reason gets startled or feels threatened he will come charging at you and we were really really close um, I'm not so scared I think everybody else in the Jeep was a little bit scared but I love it when I can be this close to the animal in their natural surroundings like I'm not an advocate of uh, I was gonna say Jeeps I'm not an advocate of zoos um, but this was so special because you know that guy thought he was getting a great shot and ruined it for everybody else and we were so upset and then we got this gorgeous little view so that was special more rhinos more birds and then my guide saw the coolest thing i think this is like a gecko it's some sort of lizard i'm not sure what it is but i've zoomed in massively i couldn't even see it i couldn't see this with my naked eye the guide had to um, take this footage for me but just incredible the stuff you see in the jungle and how it camouflages 
and then i did not expect to see this again but we saw another hornbill i actually it might have been the same one that flew away that we saw earlier in the morning um we think my guide rather thinks that it might be the same one looking for food but so incredibly special this is the great indian hornbill we actually also saw an oriental pied hornbill similar looking um but not the same i think this guy is much bigger but i am so thrilled this makes it so special because i really wanted to see owls eagles and hornbills if i wasn't going to see tigers apart from rhinos this is the three that i wanted to see and i ticked off the eagle i've ticked off the hornbill more than once so hopefully fingers crossed i'll get lucky with my owls et voila ask and you shall receive kaziranga was amazing and not only did i see my little owl i saw two little owlets in the tree just look at them like they look like furry old men just hunched up sleeping all cuddled they're so cute i love owls they're just adorable and this made it super special this was just such an incredible day and such an incredible safari i cannot recommend this enough Also very random and not necessarily safari related but if you're in Kaziranga and you're bored of the hotel that you're staying at come and visit this restaurant it's called John's Kitchen actually serves some really nice chinese food i got some great momos and a wonderful fried rice so just in case you want a change John's Kitchen is where it's at already lovely because the jungle is beautiful this is a different zone it's a little bit far out we've done the western zone done the central and eastern this is another park um another zone whose name i've forgotten but i'll put it down in the description box as well gorgeous quiet obviously not too many people come here because it's a little bit far away which makes it all the more alluring and make me want to do this more but sadly this is all the time i have so last safari fingers crossed so i've covered the western zone the central zone and i also did the eastern zone the day before this is another zone it's called bora pahar i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly it's a little bit far from the other zones almost an hour and a half maybe 2 hours away but so special and so spectacular because it is gorgeous and after driving for about 15 minutes and looking at the topography and enjoying the view and everything we came across this herd of elephants just look at them they're in all shapes and sizes literally like even the little baby ones they're so cute they're amazing i've zoomed in massively it looks like they're right up in front of me but they were not they were at a distance but still just so special this is amazing so i think we might be the only jeep over here in this particular park it's also like 3 days before kaziranga shuts down for the monsoon season the season is november to april we're actually mid may so it's stretched a little bit and as you can see it's been raining and stuff like that so this particular park um or zone rather nobody really comes here because they're scared because it gets heavy rain and stuff like that so i think we might be the only jeep um and the guide and driver have been so lovely actually it's almost like we're being escorted because our guide has a gun with us just for protection in case the animals come too close um not that they will they're at a distance but still and then we came to this um little spot where you're allowed to get off there's a watchtower which i'm i'm at the watchtower i'm only at like the first level you can go much higher and it's beautiful because all around is the water it's the lake and then we stopped here because there's a herd of elephants i don't know if you can see behind over there there they are um and they're all just come to drink water on this patch of green it is so beautiful um i love safaris i love coming to national parks and kaziranga has been on our wish list both my sister and mine for a long time i think because of 
it being a little bit far, it's almost like a three hour flight to Assam and then four hours driving down. Um, also, it's not really big on tigers, right? Like this is a park for rhinos, for elephants, for other stuff. A lot of birds, um, hornbills. We saw so many hornbills, which I've only seen them once before. So this is lovely. Um, so not many tigers, though they do see them. They do have, I think, about a thousand tigers, which seems like a lot. But they just are so shy, they don't come out. So we've always sort of pushed this and said, oh, we'll... We'll do Kaziranga later and then it finally happened and I'm so thrilled because apart from the animals and everything, this is a stunning, stunning park. Um, if it's not on your wish list, you really should put it on. It's beautiful, it's relaxing, it's peaceful um, and just another state in India that is just so gorgeous. I really, really think you should come here, especially if you like safaris. If you're a safari person, make sure you do not miss out on Kaziranga. I think this was the highlight of the morning. I had to leave from here to go to Shillong, so I didn't have much time in this particular park or zone. I actually had maybe an hour and a half versus maybe two and a half hours. So it was a lot of driving and I spent a lot of time with these elephants, so didn't really get to do much else, but I'm not complaining because it's so spectacular. And it just made me want to come here again and do this a lot more. I just feel like this is such an underrated jungle um, compared to most that you see in Rajasthan like Ranthambore or the ones in central India like Pench and Kanha and stuff like that but stunning I highly highly recommend this this is my first trip to Kaziranga it most certainly will not be my last I really hope you've enjoyed this video it's very special to me I cannot explain just what a great time I had. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, as always, don't forget to give it a big fat like. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you a safari junkie or is this something you've never done or it's something you want to do? I'm always interested and happy to encourage. Please share it with all your friends if you've enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to do a lot more of these videos. I enjoy it so much. And of course, recipes will go back as usual as scheduled. But anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys very, very soon.